Good morning, everybody. If you can hear me, make sure you write it on the bottom so I can so I know what's going on here. So the guys are just setting up. Um, we're doing a, a rainbow trout release today at Mill Lake. Uh, putting in roughly around 1,200 fish into it. It's the first release of the year, and uh, the program itself um, puts several thousand fish into Mill Lake. This is part of the Urban Lake um, Catchable Rainbow Trout program. Catchable meaning that most all of the fish average around 250 grams. And the guys are just setting up right now. And uh, after Mill Lake, uh, I won't be going there, but they're gonna be going up, up to, I believe, Como and Bring Timbers uh, to put a thousand fish into each one as well. If you guys have any other questions, uh, make sure you type it out and I can answer them right here for you. So, just putting the pipes together right now and uh, to get all ready. So Ding, how many how many fish can this this truck is huge? So <laughs> how many fish can this truck hold? Uh, we typically run about four thousand. Four thousand fish. Okay, so you can do up to four lakes if you yeah, want to. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. thousand per lake. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so the first question is, how do you count a thousand fish? <laughs> uh, we don't count all the thousand. We do a sample count. Okay. So we get a number per kilo. So we know how many kilos of fish are going in the tank. But these fish were actually, they, they actually were counted because we have a counter, an automatic counter at the hatchery. So it, the fish are pumped across the table and as they fall into the truck, they're counted by electronics. Oh wow, yeah. yeah. Is that a pretty pretty new technique uh, compared to uh, what you do we've previously? We've had that technique now for for a few years now, but yeah. it is relatively new to us in yeah. society. Awesome, yeah, yeah. yeah. great. <laughs> yeah. So, so I'm gonna I'm gonna head up and take a look okay. quickly here. They should be. Yeah, the satellite. You're going up on the truck? Yeah, so, yeah, so. Hopefully I don't fall down. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you know what? So I'll go up and I'll see the fish and they'll come down again. Okay. And uh, I know you're getting nervous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Mike's gonna show us uh, a thousand fish in the yeah, tank right so now. So this is Mike. Uh, go. Hold on one second. Turn this camera around. So this is Mike. Mike works at the Fraser Valley Trout Hatchery, um, operated by the Freshwater Fishery Society BC. Um, yeah, a thousand fish. So how big are how big are these fish, Mike? These fish are uh, two hundred and twenty-five grams okay. on average. Yeah. Nice. Um, and they're the Fraser Valley uh, strain. domestic strain. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And we call these catchables because you can pretty much catch them right away once they're being released. Right. Does it take I know you fish a little bit as well because we fish together. Yeah. So do, does it take some time for them to adjust in the environment? Um, I've had uh, people catch uh, these within a half hour of release. Yeah. However, you'd probably want to let them have a day or so mm -hmm. to acclimatize to the lake. Yeah. And then they'll be hungry because yeah. these fish have been starved for a few days. So they're uh, looking to eat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they, they bite easily and they're quite aggressive so mm -hmm. it's great uh, in the urban lakes for the casual angler and uh, yeah. for kids especially definitely yeah and at mill lake you see got, got a couple angles out here already That's and uh, there's a new floating dock um where you know anyone without a boat can fish on as well so That's right, yeah. yeah great okay, well, perfect thank you so let me you actually down, you know what i'll you know I'll, I'll stay up here and watch and okay. uh we can we can Great. We got Brandon down there holding the pipe. 
letting the fish go. So, yeah, you yeah, can uh, go, Brandon. release them. Yeah. Wow, look at them all. Off they go. Yeah. That's a lot of fish being released. <laughs> I'm gonna climb down the hatchery truck without falling here. There you go, that's a thousand fish going out. So we should give a shout out to Brandon here. Um, he just started working at the hatchery about a year ago, I believe. Yeah, yeah. and you're an avid fisherman as well, right? Yeah. Um, how did you get into this program in the first place? Uh, so I actually worked with the uh, Learn to Fish crew for about a year. And oh year yeah, that's right, yeah. So. And that's a great way to get into it, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah and I grew up fishing a lot of lakes in the lower mainland, yeah. so. Fantastic, I yeah. Mm -hmm. get back to the community. Perfect, and yeah. So we're just getting the rest of the stagglers out on the pipe. I got a few questions for Dean. Dean's the uh, assistant manager at the hatchery. Um, we're asking for a few questions before we sign out here. Thank you for watching everyone. So Dean, so with this, with the urban Catchable Rainbow Trout program. Yep. Um, how many fish goes into Mill Lake per year? Uh, Mill Lake gets about three thousand fish. Uh, for for the entire for year. The, well, for the for entire the, for the, spring. Oh, for the entire spring, yeah. and then there's a fall stalking as there's well, right? There's a fall stalking that well, happens yeah. roughly around, I guess, late September. Yeah, September, October. Yeah. yeah. Is that another three thousand fish? No, it'll be another, I think, fifteen hundred. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it's a little fish being, you know, you can catch around here, right? Mm -hmm. And they don't usually get caught right away you know that's kind of like the right. urban myth that the fish are going within a few days but they, they do you know the, the fish are kind of smart they can they yeah. can get oh, in the yeah, deep sure. and some will grow a little bit and they, they do you do get bigger ones than the ones these 250 gram ones as well so yeah 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 and there is they definitely do overwinter in mill lake um you know people do catch them They've been catching fish already this spring before we've even stocked it. So mm -hmm. that tells us that there is some overwintering and they are growing. Yeah. So they, they're quite a bit larger than when we put them in. So they are finding enough stuff to feed on and, and grow. Yeah. yeah. And there's roughly around 2,000 lakes uh, between Whistler and Hope in this program. Um, I believe I counted. No, so. two thousand. Two, two dozen. Two dozen. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Two, not two thousand. Yeah, yeah, we have about. Yeah, there's about. 35 to 40 lakes that we stock with catchables um, throughout the province from our hatchery okay from oh, our hatchery nice. yeah. so yeah not all those are in the lower mainland but there's some in the interior but yep. the majority of them are in the lower mainland yep yeah yep it's a great great program for entry-level anglers yes. um for kids or even avid anglers if you can't get away for the weekend you can't go somewhere far mm -hmm. but you can just come down and wet the line and catch mm -hmm. some fish so make sure you get your freshwater fishing license as well before you come out um all of the revenues from the freshwater fishing license goes into programs like this which is fantastic but also the floating dock mm -hmm. um yeah. with the freshwater fish society bc funds a lot of floating docks to provide more better access for anglers as well so 
Thank you, Dean. Yes. Uh, we're gonna log out now. We're gonna. Just, yeah, that's right. So we're gonna. We're gonna. Not yet. We're gonna. We're gonna sign out now. Thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you check out GoFishBC.com for uh, release updates and uh, subscribe to the channel. So until next time, good luck fishing. Thanks, Dean. All right. You're welcome. One more second.